Joe. I'm sorry I was so snappish earlier. Blame it on finding out the man I've been seeing may be a murderer. Listen, I'm going to get out of here early. Why don't you say I take you to dinner? Oh, that's so nice. But I'm not off yet. Some of us don't keep bankers' hours. All right. Speaking of that venerable institution, why don't you give me the key to the safety deposit box? I'll go down the bank and get the ring myself. I haven't used that safe deposit box in ages. I'd have to go digging for it, but uh, the bank would be closed by then. You call me crazy, Mom, but I don't think you're too eager to help me out here. Well, what are you so anxious about? Is she pressuring you for a real no, ring? No, she's that not. It? She yeah. doesn't even know that I'm doing this. She's happy with the Cracker Jack ring that I gave her, but I just want to give her this ring and surprise her, that's all. Karen's not pregnant, is she? <laughs> no, Mom. Oh, actually, you know what, though? We do have five kids, and we just want to make it legal. Oh, very funny. Mom, listen to me. I love Karen, all right? And I just want to give her this ring and make the engagement official, that's all. Well, then what difference can a day make? You guys have the rest of your lives. They told me to wait here for Victor. After uh, your radio show, they took Victor back to his cell. Did you both hear the program? Yeah. It really, really frightened Victor. You know, all the circumstantial evidence and the hard, cold facts haven't really bothered him at all. But this thing scared him out of his wits, I think. All those people being so angry and accusing him of being guilty. And I, I just literally watched his spirits crumble. I think he's fearing the worst. And, uh, you know, he always carries on with that weird kind of bravado that he has. I've just never seen him afraid. I've never seen him like this. I have to get him out of this, Lucy. He asked me to help him. All I could do was hold his hand. They were really hard on you, too. I'm fine. Was, while I was in here, I had this idea. What if you used me as a decoy? I mean, this nut came after me before, right? So this nut may do it again, and you could set it up so they, that someone actually comes after me, and then you go after no. him, and you could... No. I don't want you involved in this, Lucy. It's dangerous. I think it would be best if we kept our distance for a while. I think you should go. I forgot something when I moved out. I, I was so upset when we argued. I forgot to give your ring back. So I, I guess you want it back then? The um, happiest day of my life was when you gave this ring to me. And the saddest day of my life is giving it back to you. I'm sorry. All I did was make it look worse for you. Monk, it's all right. You did your best. But it's something that I love best about you. You're going to be... It's going to be okay. Victor Collins, you're under arrest for the murder of Bennett Devlin, Grace Sullivan, Jake Marshak, and Cassandra May. Victor? It's okay. It'll be fine. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up that right, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You have the right to have that attorney present without question. And that court attorney one will be appointed to you by the court free of charge.
You've reached the Collins residence. Please leave a message. I heard you on the radio begging me to call in. Of course I couldn't. And it's all your fault. You had the police follow me so I couldn't use a phone. I'm disappointed. I consider you a worthy adversary. And yet you continue to underestimate me.